Hello, I'm Lauren Moraski, and you're watching Build Series live in New York City. This next guest had a starring turn as Maddie on the hit show Nashville for six years. Now she's setting her sights toward music and prepping her first full-length debut called Three, Two, One. Please welcome Lennon Stella. Hello. Lennon, thank you for coming by Build today. Thank We're so excited to have you here. I'm excited to be here. We heard a lot of your new music with your EP, yes. uh, but now you have a full-length album coming out. What can we expect on this one? I am so, so, so excited for it to be out. Um, I mean, with an album, you just have, there's more space and more freedom to kind of explore and show different parts of you that you can't really like squeeze on an EP or in a single. So it's been nice to feel that freedom and that like space and just, you know, more songs to literally just show different parts and sonically just be able to be a bit more experimental and then lyrically, you know, tell stories that, like again, I, I didn't have time to fit in anything else. So it's it's really, I'm super, super stoked to have it out. And I think it, it definitely is a different part of who I am. Cool, it's expected out later this spring, later this year. So yes. excited about that. Uh, we've already heard uh, Kissing Other People, really fun single. Thank Can you talk you. a little bit about that song and the inspiration behind it? Yeah, um, I wrote this song, um, it was at a writing camp actually. I had never done um, a writing camp before like for for myself and I literally just got a bunch of my favorite writers and producers and we all went to Cabo and it was amazing and we just went yeah it was so amazing and writing like specifically for the album which was so nice and having just a group of people that really under understood me and understands me like just very um, music like, just creatively they really get who I am and what I kind of you know, the vision and everything I want to put out there. So it was really nice to, like, have that, like, very safe space of just, like, being super creative. And But I, um, Caroline was, like, asking me about boys and where I was at with boys. And I, like, literally I said to her, like, in passing that I was at this point where I was like, okay, cool. Like, I, I don't feel like, like I'm doing something wrong by, like, kissing someone else. Like, I don't feel, like, bad about it. And um, she literally, I said this, like, the first night that we got there, we were just, like, chatting and talking. It was, like, late at night. And then the next day, she was in the session, and they, they started the song together. So, um, so yeah, it kind of it started from that. It was something that I said in passing that I probably wouldn't have written a song about if she didn't start it. So, That's awesome. Yeah. It seems like a really collaborative effort there yeah. at the writing camp. Like, how long is something like that? And what, what other stuff you, what other things are you doing while you're there? This camp was, like, 11 days. Okay. I mean, literally, that's what's so great about it is it's just so much creative freedom. Like, there's no, like, typically, like, you, you're you in a writing session. You start at, like, 11. You end at, like, 7. Mm -hmm. And then when you're done, like, the song gets sent out to everybody. And at the camp, there's just, like, it's not really like that. It's You do it, and it's more just, you know, free. And, like, you just write, and you can start at whatever time you want. Or you cannot start at all, and you can just, like, take that day and not write, you know? So it's, I think that freedom and just being with people who are like really creative and, and um, understand me was like very refreshing. The video for the song is really fun. Uh, did you have a hand in what you wanted to see there and what was it like shooting it? Yeah, this video was so fun to shoot just cause it's so like, it's very different than anything I'd done before. The song itself is kind of different than anything I'd done before. Um, and just having it feel like a bit more like lighthearted and just fun um and the video itself i think captures that feeling of just literally just like a kiss fest <laughs> it's yeah, just it's like, like fun, kiss fest, you know? kissing a phone yeah, pizza guy like, comes in it's just fun so so it was, it was honestly as fun as it looks like it it would have been to shoot it was very fun um and we all we all enjoyed it so yeah it was i kind of wanted yeah the feeling of it to be like just like the coloring and everything that's kind of consistent with all the other videos and and then this one just have an overall feeling of a bit a bit more light you know so aside from the writing camp where else did you write music and where were you else were you getting your inspiration from the rest was pretty much written in between nashville and la okay um and i mean honestly inspiration just from from living and like just life and things that um things that inspire me or even writing about how uninspired i am you know yeah. whatever it is i feel like I just try to get as like in tune with myself as I possibly can, just like as a human. And then um, typically that is enough of some, you know, inspiration for me, like to, to write about it, really anything I'm feeling. And that's kind of that's kind of where I go from. And then sometimes there'll be like a concept that I really want to write about where it's more like conceptual. It's more like an actual thought rather than um, a feeling. But 
typically it's just something I've gone through. Is there a song on the new album that was really difficult for you to write or record that was a, the biggest challenge? Hmm. There's a song that is really personal to me um, that definitely was tough to sing, for sure. I don't want to say too much about it because there's, there's somebody on it with me that also makes it that much more, like, gut-wrenching for me to sing. Um, and, yeah, I think... I think it'll it'll resonate like that as well. I think people will, will understand that. Be related. They can relate yeah, to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, another song, Golf on TV, right? That's the other yeah, uh -huh. the other song that you've released. What's the story behind that song? So this song um, is also pretty different from anything I, I've sung about before. Um, it's very much like about being very in love and in a very healthy relationship and how great it is. And I wrote it with J.P. Sachs, who's singing out with me. And this girl, Simon, and we, um, I went into the session just, like, very much gushing about being in love and how great it is. And he's very, very in love. And we were just talking about literally just monogamy and how wonderful it is and how it feels kind of rare in this generation. And and um, Simon, and we were just all kind of talking about how rare it feels and how people just seem to be in, like, open relationships or talking to a lot of different people at the same time. And JP literally said in passing, he was like, I, I don't get that, but some people watch golf on TV, and I don't get that either. <laughs> and we're like, you're so clever. So, <laughs> yeah, we literally, yeah, we wrote the song off of him saying that. Um, but, yeah, just kind of the idea of, like, it's it's so nice. I can't understand how anybody wouldn't want to just be in something that, like, feels really good and is just healthy and, like, yeah, respectful and just, like, full of love and not gamey, you know? Right. Not yeah. kissing other people. Not kissing other people. <laughs> Although that is fun. Yeah, well, it yeah. lasts. Yes. You know, it's fun. Exactly. <laughs> but it's but both are great in their own ways, exactly. for sure. And 100%. both are super relatable. Um, three, two, one is the title of the record. Yeah. How did you land on that? Um, I really wanted, I mean, there's a single image out now of the jumping. And um, once the rest of the album packaging comes out, it'll kind of make more sense, too, of the title and where it kind of came from. But just the idea of, like, feeling um, that jumping forward of, of really releasing all the pressure and everything from, you know, all expectations and everything that you feel really heavily when making an album. And I think just kind of letting go of that and kind of diving in, like, headfirst and just the idea of, like, three, two, one, like, I'm just going for it and just doing it anyways. Nice. So, yeah. I feel like that's what you're probably doing here in many yeah, ways, absolutely. right? Yeah. Do you is there a do you feel a bit of a pressure, you know? I mean, just being, you know, you're 20 years old, you, a lot of people know you from Nashville that you know you're coming out totally. out of the gate, you know, totally. with this. I mean, yeah, I think 100% I do. I mean, pro I would say more than 50% of it is placed on myself, you know, from myself, and I kind of like to keep that pressure there and I like to keep a bit of like a just a pressure that I feel for myself. I think it's also important to to feel that to kind of keep me like moving and and wanting to be better all the time. But also, I mean, there's definitely a pressure that I feel from outside, and and I don't want it to ever affect my music and affect the the music I make or what I say or what I don't say. I never want it to affect that. But also, you know, it's a it's a thing that I have to like go through to be like, okay, cool. I'm not gonna let it affect affect me, and I don't want you know too many cooks in the kitchen or too many opinions involved and that kind of thing so also that kind of that even just the business aspect of it all to just be like okay cool I'm just gonna release all this and just have it be like a freeing yeah feeling I feel like I, I sense like a theme you're you, it sounds like you're very you had a lot of artistic freedom with this record you can elaborate a little bit more on that for and sure. why that's really important to you yeah I mean it's the most important thing I think for any artist it's it's so important to be able to really um, just have everything that you say be something that you actually mean and it's not something that like words are being fed to you to say or or fed to you to not say you know I think it's just so important to to really if you're gonna do it like do it properly and really like mean it and um and I think yeah I mean with an album growing up like it was such I love like full-length albums like yeah. that's just like what I grew up loving I'm this is my parents like completely like you know raised us on so I think having that was just always so 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 important to me just to have a full-length album where I, I feel like that's when you really get to know an artist and get to know a person and like you can really like tell so much ab about someone and, and I think that just being so important to me to now have it out I'm like okay cool this is like this really 
embodies who I am and things I'm trying to say. And I feel like it just forever will be a, like a piece of a piece of, you know, who I am. I think that full length album thing is true, especially today. I mean, 100%. you could just hit, hit, hear one song and be done with it. But yep. I think with an artist, an artist that really wants to tell a story, yeah. that story can be told so yeah. well through the arc of an album, 100%. which is really special. Yeah. So I'm excited for fans to see and hear the whole thing. Uh, but you just got off tour not too long ago. You were on tour with the Chainsmokers. What was yeah. that all about? And how was that? It was amazing. It was so, so, so fun. Yeah, they're so, just so great and welcoming. And, and it's like it was a massive jump for me. I went, you know, from much smaller rooms to all of a sudden, like, full-blown arenas. And it was just a, a much bigger scale than anything I had done prior. So it was a very, um, it could have been very scary but yeah. they made it very not scary and it was yeah very nice and welcoming anything you learned from them about playing an arena show that you know of that size I mean so much I learned so much from them and the, even just the way they kind of run ship and the way they um run their camp and the people they keep around I really learned a lot from too just and how important it is to have a group of really great people like around you at all times it's like so relevant um and yeah, they just, they work really hard. Like they're very devoted and very much like hardworking professionals, like very much work hard, play hard. Like they do it all for sure. So I learned a lot of that. And then also um, literally things as specific as like getting in your body earlier in the day, like working out or like doing something so that you're, you're not just like the first time you're moving your body being on stage because that is so what happens when you're on tour for like three months, you just are so tired, you know, that if, like, during the day you want to just, like, chill and, like, be as calm as you possibly can, and then you, you, you know, the first time you're moving is literally on stage, and when you're performing at arena shows, like, you, you can't do that. You need to, like, get in your body during the day and work out and release energy throughout the whole day. So that was something I learned from them that I was like, okay, cool. You have to literally put a lot of work into this. Yes. A lot of work. Very physical, right? Very physical. Very physical. Very physical. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, you're going to go out on your own tour, uh, which will be this year. Yes. And uh, you know, what are you most looking forward to? I am, I mean, it's been really cool. Like open, like starting headlining was the first tour. And then I did two opening slots and then, going to headline I just got back from Europe headlining that and then now going to do North America it's just it's been so cool to learn from opening and then also just grow so much through headlining and then now being at a point where it's like okay this North America run is the everything feels like it's really coming together and just everything like the show itself and the different things you know for the set and how you know I want things to kind of look and how to feel and creating a certain vibe and really like making an experience and something really special is like it definitely is just it feels like all the tours I've done have like now come together and it all makes sense to me where I'm like okay this is this feels really right and it feels natural and also um you know having that album will be out and it'll yes. playing that where people have like they'll know it at that point and singing lyrics to the songs that um that I've been sitting on for so long and having you know I just think that's going to be extremely rewarding, you know, having them sing it back to me and play play the songs live. So I am I'm really, really excited for this tour. The this new sound, would you consider it? I mean, the new album, you would consider it pop, would you say? Or how would you describe it? Yeah, I think, like I said earlier, just having an, like a full length album, there's so much more room. So yeah. some of it's definitely not, you know, in the pop lane, I guess it's a bit more left or more alternative, I guess. Um, but it kind of, yeah, it kind of varies throughout. But it, I felt more um, room to show different parts of what I love. Yeah. You're talking a lot about growing on the tour, et cetera. We literally watched you grow up in some ways on Nashville. Absolutely, I mean, yeah. it's kind of crazy. Um, what was it like on your end? I mean, we're, we're seeing it from afar. Yeah. To grow up sort of in the spotlight on a show that's on week to week uh, to where you are now. I mean, it definitely was a different way to grow up. And looking back now, it's even more unique than I realized it was at the time because it was kind of like all I knew and I didn't really even think much of it. And I was like in public school until like middle of 10th grade. So it was just very normalized, very, very normalized at the time. Um, but looking back now, I'm like, wow, that was a that was an interesting childhood. Like that was, it definitely, I see a lot of, 
my tendencies, like it for sure came from, you know, being on that show and like working, like full on working, you know, from the time you're 12, like just having like responsibilities and pressure, which not in a bad way, but literally just, you know, just pressures of, of being on a TV show and filming, you know, every day or every couple days. So it definitely, and as it, as the years kind of went on, like being on for six years, it, it like my role like grew and it was much more of a commitment or much more of like effort and time put into it. So, I mean, it definitely, I feel it so much in just the way that I am and the way that I kind of, you know, just live my life, honestly. And especially in like going from that world to like a music world, it's so different. Like this world is so lax and just so chill and everyone's like, oh, I can show up two hours late. And I'm like, what? (laughs) Like, I'm so trained to like be so like, just very like professional and you like you go up and you show up and you and you read your lines and you you do a good job and you're ready and you're prepared and it's like it's just not really like that in the music industry it's like I'm like having to kind of like chill out a little bit and be like okay cool like it's not it's a very different world very different world. interesting I didn't even think of it like that but I guess it's good training and these are not bad skills to have right to show up on time and still totally that's what I mean it like I see it in my in who I am and like kind of like just innately what I feel like in my gut to do and what to not do and like avoid um so I mean I would that's like my favorite part about it all is I feel like I'm kind of more built for it you know the music industry and if I ever want to circle back and do that then I would have been, you know, naturally. I'm. I feel like now I'm like, okay, cool. I can handle it, you know. Sure. I mean, you weren't even the first person that was supposed to be on that show. It was your sister, right? That auditioned, yeah. and you were sort of there, like, oh, she's got a sister, and they're yeah. both right. That's yep. how it came about. Exactly. And what's your sister up to? How are you guys really tight still? So tight. We couldn't be tighter. She's, yeah, she's literally my my best friend. She's the most supportive and the most like. She's the first person I send every song to. And literally her response to the song determines how I feel about it. <laughs> she is so, yeah, very, very, very close. Um, but, yeah, I mean, she's she's at a point, like, right now she just turned 16, like, just got her license. She's, like, living in Nashville and, um, yeah, being 16. So. Yeah, yeah, but it's just, which is a good place to it's be. very important. Right? It's, like, as a sister, that's, that's, like, I beg of that. You know, I really want that for her. Yeah. I mean, she's got so much time, too, to totally. figure out what she wants to do next. 100%. Uh, and you guys have so much talent between the two of you. I imagine you. one day we'll see you perform again. I mean, for I can't sure. imagine that. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, with, with the new album and the transition, I mean, what? how has the transition been for you? Do you feel like this is really where you're meant to be versus acting? Or do you see yourself, you know, tapping back into that, say, down the line? I definitely can see myself tapping back into it. No question. I think... For myself, I just, I want to see what happens when I put full energy, full heart into music yeah. and just give that the chance that it deserves and that I and I really want to give it. And then, um, you know, no matter what happens, I would love to circle back and, and do, yeah, like movies or shorter series. I probably wouldn't do another like long, com- it's just such a commitment to do such a long TV show, but... Um, and I would love to be able to do both, like music and and movies at the same time. So I would love to do that. Is it the case that you did not watch t- much TV growing up? No, I did. I didn't watch any TV. No, no TV at Literally all. None. Okay. None. When I yeah. yeah, when we this sounds so psycho, but it's true. We literally got a got cable when we were on TV. So when it started airing, we were like, we should probably get a TV. Yeah. Just to see what. Just to what see we're, maybe what we look like <laughs> on TV. So yeah, we got that, and then up then I started watching TV. Okay. No, then it was like Netflix, and everything was coming out, and I was like, okay, yeah, yeah, no, Gossip Girl is for sure gonna be the move. Yeah, no, but when I was growing up, like it just wasn't really, it wasn't a thing. Like I, we didn't, Maisie and I, ne- like we just never had interest in it. And I think because we, we never showed interest in it. We also literally. F- physically couldn't get it because we were so in the middle of nowhere Got that it. like the cable didn't reach to our little farmhouse um but even I mean we just never showed we never really were interested in it until until much later and that was yeah. a farmhouse in Ontario in Canada yeah, yeah. okay uh-huh. got it wow and then you moved to Nashville and then are you living in Nashville now yeah or? okay yeah wow so the thing about TV is that you know I feel like it probably opened up your palette for more music maybe do you think that that's yeah. the case because you had more room yeah. to really pursue it yeah absolutely I mean being on on the show and like it kind of like in a way like tied me down to in the best possible way where I was like looking back now I thought I was ready at like 14 years old to go and do like my 
career of mu- music, like, it just wouldn't have been smart. It would have completely, like, um, I feel like it would have done damage, you know, as far as, like, s- really going for it at that age and being taken seriously. So, I mean, I think at that point, like, it really, it kind of held me down to a place where I, like, couldn't really put out my own music and I didn't really have the time to until I was, like, 18. So then it was, like, it kind of, it made me stop and slow down and really just, like, live in that moment. And then when I was 18, I was like, okay, cool. Now I'm, like, the show's over and, like, the doors are opening and everything is going very smooth and felt very natural. But, yeah, that kind of, the show definitely did that in a, in a really nice and organic way where it kind of made me stop. And it kind of mirrored the show, though. The, oh, your yeah. character. I mean, that's exactly yeah. what happened. No, totally. To so it like set me yeah. up perfectly. Yeah, it like exactly. set it set everything up exactly as it should have. So it was literally like, okay, cool, cool, cool. And then here I am, like going off and doing my own thing. It was very. It just like the universe was very, very kind. That was a great cast. You had Connie Britton, of course, and a lot of people coming in and out. Uh, is it there a way that you keep in touch with some of the folks there on the show? Oh yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I. With being on a show for six years, and especially starting at 12, like, there's just going to be forever that, like, family, genuine, like, there just feels that, like, connection no matter what. Um, but Chip especially, we're really close to him. That's very, awesome. very close. He's probably in Nashville, too, so. He's in Nashville, like, yeah. and his whole family, were yeah, very Great. Close well, him. we have a question on Twitter, so okay. um, fans are asking, uh, what were your inspirations while writing the album? Huge fan, by the way. Wish I could have uh, been there to see you today. Sweet. What were your inspirations? Um... I mean, I take inspiration from from a lot of different things. I said it kind of earlier, just, like, literally things I go through, like, things that I feel or don't feel and want to feel or don't feel and then just think about how I don't feel it. I think just being as, like, transparent and as honest as I possibly can in whatever it is that I'm, you know, feeling or not feeling at that time is really what inspires me most, to be honest. Great. Well, Gabby, thank you for that yeah, question on Twitter. You. Uh, well, thank you so much for coming by today, yeah, Lennon. You, you have so much. so much great stuff going on. You have thank the you, tour, the album coming out later this year, and, of course, the single Kissing Other People. Yes. So thanks for coming in, Lennon Thank Stella. you so much. I appreciate it. 